the temple is the most important, it's the holiest site for the Jews. So when you go in Jerusalem, and even if they had synagogues, and they would face, they would face, and today there is no temple, okay? The temple was destroyed by the Romans in the year 70 AD, the second temple. And then the synagogue became the place of worship. And the name became Little Temple. So when you go in Jerusalem to play, to pray, you would face the area of the temple. When now we are in Tiberias, outside of Jerusalem, we would face Jerusalem, which means right now we would have to face south. That was the direction. And if I'll be in Tanzania, in your homeland, and I will have to pray in a synagogue, or even without a synagogue, I would want to pray, I would face Israel. That's the direction. <laughs> ina imewekwa ina nguzo nguzo kubwa na hapa ndani ndiko inaaminika kwamba ndiko Yesu alikuwa akifundishia wanafunzi wake unajua alianza na umati mkubwa umati mkubwa mpaka akawa na watu wachache ambao aliwachogoa wafuasi wake wao wafuasi wake ili aweze kuwafundisha na wao waende kueneza neno hilo katika dunia nzima lakini na hapa ninapopaangalia hapa ndipo inaaminika ndiko ilikuwa nyumba ya Petro na Yesu alikuwa anakuja kwa Petro kwa sababu kiangalia kwa mbali ndio ile bahari ya Galilaya na nimekusha kueleza kwamba shughuli nyingi za Yesu alikuwa akizifanya kando kando mwa Galilaya ama kando kando ya bahari ya Galilaya ama ziwa Galilaya kwa hiyo pale ndiko alikuwa anaishi Petro na Yesu alikuwa mazoea alianza kwanza kuja kuwafundishia wanafunzi hao nyumbani kwa Petro lakini baadaye ndio wakawa wanakuja kwenye sinagogi hapa pale chini ya lile jengo inasemekana ndiko ilikuwa nyumba ya mama mkwe wa Petro lakini pia alipoumwa kaja nyumbani kwa Petro na hapa alipokuja nyumbani kwa Petro ndipo waka, ndipo Yesu wakati akija kufanya mafundisho akamkuta na umma ndio akamponyesha Sweet love.